pressure makes diamonds. And in the sport of boxing, very few are able to withstand the weight of being a world-class fighter. Especially when you have a legacy to live up to. After all, while pressure creates diamonds, diamonds must be cut before they shine. For Emiliano Vargas, he hasn't been cut, but he sure is shining. Yeah, but he gonna continue to eat those shots. No! And down goes Marcus Abanao off of a combination. Oh, nice jab from Martinez. And there's a lever that puts Martinez to sleep. The dynasty continues. Bursting onto the scene as a young, brash 18-year-old in 2022, Emiliano Vargas has made waves in his short stint as a professional. And it's not by mistake either. El General is the youngest son of Hall of Famer Fernando Vargas, a former Olympian who is the youngest man ever to win a super welterweight belt. The very same Fernando Vargas who took on the likes of Felix Trinidad, Oscar De La Hoya, Winky Wright, and Shane Mosley. Although he wasn't around for most of his dad's biggest bouts, it's safe to say fighting is in Emiliano's blood. At 12-0 with 10 knockouts, the younger Vargas' success so far in the ring comes as no surprise given the kind of fighter his father was. Never one to take his foot off the gas, Emiliano displays many of the same traits as El Feroz. But don't let the bright smile fool you. Vargas possesses a penchant for violence that was ingrained in him since birth. Tell me after school you want to go boxing, I'll just take you. So he took me, I picked him up at their school, and then he, uh, he he got in the car and he goes, you gonna take me to the boxing gym? The rest, the, the, the rest is history. El General pummels his opponents into submission, but also employs a disciplined approach. He blends the ferocious style of his dad with textbook fundamentals. And despite how successful the elder Vargas was in his heyday, the latest iteration somehow might exceed the accomplishments of his father. As an amateur, Vargas collected seven national titles before opting to turn pro at 18. Much like Fernando, Emiliano initially wanted to represent the United States at the Olympics. However, the Vargas family quickly realized they had a gem on their hands. Emiliano was simply too talented to waste time as an amateur. Mix in his skill set with movie star good looks and the fact that his dad was a Mexican-American legend, and you have a recipe for stardom. Which is precisely why Top Rank came calling after just one fight. As far as in-ring goes, his pedigree has allowed him to spar with the likes of Shakur Stevenson, Robesi Ramirez, Vasily Lomachenko, and George Cambosis, just to name a few. At his age and experience level, the fact that world champions trust him to help them get ready is a testament to his gifts as a boxer. Having a former world champion as your father and trainer only amplifies those gifts. Now at the ripe age of 20, Emiliano most recently stopped Larry Friars en route to his 10th career stoppage and his third this year alone. Being so early in his career, Team Vargas is prioritizing getting rounds and accumulating enough experience before eventually knocking on the door of a world title shot. With four fights this year already and another one rumored to be on the way, the Vargas dynasty is in full swing with a potential prospect of the year award waiting for Emiliano. Dating back to the late 90s all the way to 2024, the Vargas family has been no stranger to the pressures of the sweet science. Fernando proved to be a diamond in his own right, but now it's Emiliano's turn to shine the brightest.